Hey guys, Ewa Electronics Ahmed here. Today I am back with another project and this time I will be showing you how to build a dark sensor. A dark sensor is basically a circuit which will turn on an LED or a relay or whatever load you add in this area here. Uh, it will turn that on when the light in a certain area goes below a, a certain threshold. This threshold can be uh, changed using this potentiometer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how the circuit works and then we will be building the actual circuit. So let's get started. So let's start by taking a look at this part of the circuit. Uh, this, uh, the potentiometer and the LDR basically create a potential divider. And so when there is a lot of light shining on the LDR, uh, the resistance of the LDR will be very low, which will cause most of the voltage to be across the potentiometer. And so basically the, tra the transistor's base will be off and there will be no current flowing through the LEDs. Why, when there is actually no light or minimal light shining on the LDR, the resistance of the LDR will be very high. And so basically most of the voltage will be across the LDR, which means that most of the voltage will be across the base of the transistor. And this will cause the transistor to turn on, which will cause the current to pass through the LEDs or through the relay, whatever you are using as a load, and it will turn that load on. Okay guys, so this is it for the circuit. It's actually a very easy circuit. Uh, let's move on to building this circuit. Alright guys, so to start off, we are going to need a breadboard obviously. Let me throw this away. And we are going to get the LDR and we will place it anywhere on the bread. And uh, now I'm going to get my tension, uh, my uh, transistor. Right, I'm going to now place this again anywhere on the breadboard here. And then I'm going to use some jumper cables to connect everything together. And so basically one side of the LDR will go to any slot on the breadboard and then I am going to get a 10k resistor right, guys, and then I'm going to connect this resistor from this cable to the base of the transistor. Now I am going to get my potentiometer. I am going to use 100k for this project. I uh, just have a wider variety of uh, thresholds. I am going to need to solder some cables onto this potentiometer since it is not breadboard friendly. this potentiometer one pin to the base and the other one will go to the uh, positive of the power rate. then I'm going to connect a wire from the other side of the LDR to the ground of the, ray, of the power ray. and so all that's left now is to connect our uh, LEDs and uh, Bs and the uh, emitter of the uh, the collector and the emitter of the transistor. So let's do that. The collector of the transistor will be connected to uh, five volts, and then the emitter will be connected to ground. Then I'm going to get some of these white LEDs. Then I'm going to connect them in series. Right guys, so I'm done building the circuit on the breadboard. Now it's time to add some juice to the circuit and see if everything works fine. Alright guys, now it's time to connect a battery to this connector and we will test everything out.
All right, guys. So uh, I am done building the circuit on the breadboard. Now it's time to test it. First of all, I'm going to set the threshold. You have to keep decreasing the resistance on this LED uh, on this uh, potentiometer till the LEDs are just off at this amount of light. And now when I turn off the lights, I expect the LEDs to turn on. So let's do that. And as you can see guys, the LEDs do turn on. So uh, since this circuit is actually working, now it's time to replace these LEDs by a relay. And when we do that, I will turn on this uh, mains lamp, this filament lamp on and off using this circuit. So let's do that. First of all, we are going to have to remove these LEDs and also disconnect the battery. Alright guys, so I decided to use this 6 volts relay. Uh, basically all of them, even if you use a 12 volts relay, they basically all have the same pin out. Uh, these two pins here connect to the... Let me have to focus on this. So basically the, these two pins, the two outer pins, uh, actually connect to the coil of the relay. And then the medium one is the common, and then one is the normally open, and the other one is the normally closed. If you have a transparent box, you can actually see which one is normally open and which one is normally closed. Otherwise, you are going to have to experiment with them. Uh, since I'm using a, a 9 volts battery, uh, I will not be using this 12 volts relay, I'll just be using this 6 volts relay. Although, if you are going to connect this uh, project using uh, a transformer to the wall basically to the main power supply then you can use a 12 volts relay but I'm not going to do that let's connect the relay the relay coil doesn't have any polarity so you can connect it anywhere and now these two wires, I am, I am going to connect those to the lamp and we will see what happens. Alright guys, so now I am going to have to take these wires out and the relay acts as a switch. So basically one wire will go directly to the mains and the other one will be interrupted by this relay. I am going to have to disconnect one of these wires. I suggest disconnecting the live wire. Alright guys, so now I am done connecting the relay and the lamp. So I'm going to test everything and I hope nothing will blow up. So first thing I'm going to plug in, I'll plug here, I'll turn on the power. I didn't die yet, that's good. Now I will connect my 9 volts battery. I will try playing with the threshold a little bit. And yes, then I'm just switching to this. It'll be very often. Now I hope that when I will switch on the light, uh, switch off the lights, the lamp will uh, light up. And the problem is, if you point it towards the LDR, the light from the lamp will actually cause the LDR to uh, keep switching on and off, as you can see. And this is not good, so I'm going to have to keep the LDR away from the lamp. Other than that, everything is perfect. Now it's time to build this onto a photo board. But first, before I do that, I'm going to show you guys how I connected the relay and the lamp so that nobody is confused and everybody will be able to do this. Alright guys, so we have a relay which is basically, basically represented by a coil. And a switch so uh, if we look at the previous circuit we had the uh, I will just ignore the rest of the circuit I will just draw the part which could, uh, which were where the, LED, where the LEDs were connected so it was basically like that and then we have the transistor here and the rest of the circuit it was here the uh, LDR and the potentiometer, we're not going to draw that. And here was our 9 volts battery. So when we look at the relay, I basically connected the 
uh, deployed instead of the LEDs. It doesn't have a polarity, so it doesn't matter which way I connect it. I, uh, I, I connected the common to, uh, so basically we will draw first the mains. I will draw an AC for supply here. So on the lamp, I will draw it here. This is my lamp. So basically I connected one side of the lamp directly to the mains the other side was connected through the relay and so basically when the when this switch switches uh, moves to the closed position I actually drew this the other way around so it's basically that this one is actually over here and so when this one is attracted, when the relay is activated, uh, the switch will be connected, it will be closed, and so you will have power flowing through the, uh, the lamp and it will turn on. When the magnet stops attracting the switch, the switch will move over to this side, and so there will be no electrical connection and uh, there will be no complete circuit for the lamp to turn on. So this is uh, the basic wiring, so if I draw the relay, the actual relay, one side has three pins and the other has two pins. This one is basically the normally open, this one is the common, and these are for the coils. So these get connected over here instead of the LEDs. This one connects to one side of the live wire, and this one connects to the other side of the live wire, which is basically the uh, side of the lamp. The other, uh, the neutral wire gets connected directly to the uh, main supply. So let's build this whole circuit on a draft board and that would be it. So before I move on to building the actual circuit, I am going to insulate the LDR so that basically it will not be affected by the light that is produced by the lamp. So to do that, I'm going to use a piece of paper like this and I'm going to wrap it around the LDR and then I will seal it using some electric. This might not look so pretty, but it will help you direct the LDR towards a certain position so that it will only read the amount of light from a certain place. For example, you can point this towards your window so that it will not be affected by the light bulb inside the room, but only uh, from the light from the window, from the sun or whatever. So I do suggest that you do this. Alright guys, so I am done building the circuit. Uh, if you do not already have an on and off switch on your lamp, then you might want to add one onto your circuit. But since I do have an on and off switch on my lamp, on the wire, so I do not have to add an, an on and off switch on the circuit just gonna break off this small piece because that's all we need and now it's time to test our circuit again so I will connect my 9 volts battery switch on the main start power supply adjust the sensitivity got the sensitivity to just the right level and as you can see when I switch off the light the lamp turns off when I switch on the sorry when I switch off the lights the lamp turns on and when I switch on the lights the lamp turns off. Alright guys so this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you got your uh, own circuit to work. I think this project is actually pretty easy. Uh, please leave a like leave a comment telling me what do you think I should do next I do want to hear some suggestions on what projects I should build and please also don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you won't miss more awesome projects. So see you guys in the next video.